an illness of unknown origin is striking untold thousands across the world. Known as Morgellons, this mysterious element causes debilitating symptoms in the sufferers. These patients are told they are delusional by the medical establishment. But as you can see here, there is real evidence of open sores, lesions, and embedded fibers and other objects within the body. Is this truly a delusion or is this real? What we are looking at here are various samples of actual organisms taken from patients with Morgellons. These were extracted. Under the microscope, you can see that these are indeed biological and living organisms. Next, we will be observing two separate Morgellon samples, and you will observe some sort of connecting process. Observe the bottom specimen. Now watch it pop up, and inside it pops out something, and connection is made. So there's some sort of hooking up process, which means there's a communication, and they're both living organisms. Now watch, on the right-hand side, it's going to bow forward the top part, and another connection is going to be made right there. Morgellons sufferers often complain of fibers that move. And these fibers are found within their bodies and they extract them. Here are some examples of actual fibers extracted and we're looking at it under the microscope and you notice the movement. Now this is a sample that there is actual movement on its own these fibers are living organisms of some sort these fibers have some purpose which is unknown and they have invaded the bodies of the Morgellon sufferer there's another fiber you see the movement
Often, when a patient with Morgellons goes to a doctor, they are most often told that they are suffering from a delusion, that they are picking at themselves and inserting threads. But as you can see, these aren't typical threads. These are actual living entities of some sort. following samples you are going to notice that there is some sort of transmission being set off. Strange pulses of light. These are samples taken from Morgellons patients. These are certainly electrical impulses of some sort. Now what could be the purpose? Are they transmitting some sort of information or energy perhaps. Here are two separate light emitting entities moving within this tissue sample. 